uh, you know, uh, let me just uh, put some context to it. I mean, I don't know, I don't seem to understand uh, why is everybody so surprised, taken aback, outraged, saddened, or whatever, uh, by the manner in which, a very bazaru manner in which, uh, Rahul Gandhi spoke to a journalist last uh, evening, or uh, last afternoon. Uh, I'll, I'll come to that in a minute. But, you know, if you look at the history of this family, uh, they have they have been very tough on journalists, and uh, uh, and that is part of the reason why. And please, people, don't take offense. That is why journalists have been extremely, extremely craven while dealing with this family. Um, I'm, I'm, I recall uh, I was with the Telegraph those days, I think, and. Uh, uh, in the, there was a AICC session in Calcutta. Uh, the India Today reporter um, and quite a senior journalist those days, uh, he was uh, asked to leave the room when he asked a question about Indira Gandhi's succession plan. A very simple question. And she, she very uh, imperiously declared you will get out of this room right now. And she got people to sort of push him out of the room. We know how his father, the utter contempt with which he treated the press, uh, which was, I mean, the press bill was a part of that contempt. We know Sonia's contempt for media. She, she, she sort of but, had... By conjunction, oh, no, I'll tell you no, one no, thing. No, 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 you, had, you have had your say. So please listen to what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Uh, so I myself, and I, I don't talk about it. it. I mean, it's pointless. I'm myself a victim of, of, of Sonia's approach to media. Vinod Mehta had resigned. We had some creep coming in who came in as an executive editor. And then he left too. And uh, Sonia's PA called him up and, and lodged a complaint against me. And this executive editor then called me to his room and he was all, uh, you know, he, it seemed as if he was suffering a stroke or something. He was so shaken. He was shaken and he was known in those days, we had a term called handout journalists. He was one of the handout journalists. And he sort of came down on me, oh, you this, oh, you that. I said, take your job, shove it. I'm picking up my bag and I'm leaving for home. And I actually did that. I was jobless. I had a family to take care of. My, my, my flat was a company flat, which I had to vacate within 72 hours. My phone was a company phone, which was disconnected. I survived and so did many others. I'm not the only one. And, uh, you know, I could go on and on and on. I mean, does anybody remember how many FIRs were filed in how many states against Arnav Goswami at Sonia Gandhi's instance? They have the gumption to talk about free speech. More than 100 FIRs were lodged in various police stations in various Congress ruled states. He was arrested. Nobody spoke up for him at that time. Everybody, I mean, you know, you're talking about people giggling and laughing uh, at the Rahul Gandhi's presser. Most of the media was applauding the harassment of uh, Arnab Goswami. Nobody spoke up for him. I, I you know, the the words which he used yesterday, Hawa Nikal Gai, huh? exact words he had used for a woman journalist some months ago, I think it was during the Yatra. Nobody spoke up for that poor journalist at that point of time. The press club try, tries to be very radical, very representative. They haven't cared to or dared to issue a statement that a generic statement also that this is not something which is expected. 
where is the editor's guild so let us not get carried away by this whole thing oh nobody spoke up nobody stood up they won't and for good reason lk advani when he was inb minister reminded the press that when you were asked to bend you chose to crawl and that crawling is still happening the the family has been out of power in fact if you look at the fact that uh, uh, sonia gandhi did not join the government or rahul gandhi didn't join the government the upa governments so for four successive terms the the family has been out of power but the attitude the craven attitude of media has not changed the journalist with whom rahul gandhi was for whom rahul gandhi was uh, indulging in public display of affection that journalist was running tapes produced by ib in some place on you know if you remember that uh, kala dadi safed dadi kali dadi and things like that 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 journalist and uh, people in ndtv they were running those tapes which were externally produced and sent off uh, sent to these uh, studios every evening pallavi ghosh would know about it so this right. is the quality of journalists and quality of journalism which you have where journalists are beholden for whatever reason to this one dynasty hmm. i mean what do you expect and again i'm sorry to say this i i don't know this person personally i feel and i i condemned it in whatever little way i could whatever happened to him but you just if you go back i mean even this person in his i mean you know he was reporting rahul is winning amethi when it everybody every rickshaw wala over there knew that rahul was losing amethi so let us get our perspective right whatever happened is unquestionably unquestionably condemnable it is it is to be condemned it has it is to be uh, 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 sort of you know this is something which is unacceptable hmm hmm at least mumbai press club had the guts to put guts out to, a statement yeah. 